Many of us may not have a separate room for an office, so setting up our space in a living room or bedroom is a common solution. As we move towards a hybrid working model, it's crucial to create a workspace that enables us to achieve work-life balance. In this video, I'll show you how I set up my cozy and functional work area in my living room using intentional design and a minimalist approach. I moved to a one-bedroom flat earlier this year. I decided to set up my workstation in the living room. To align with the overall vibe, I chose a white desk with a wooden drawer. It adds comfort and warmth to the area. I also love the stylish inclined legs, making it a perfect fit for my contemporary decor. I ordered the desk from Amazon. I was so glad that it arrived within a few days, saving me from working on top of a few packaging boxes. This was the first piece of furniture I assembled in my new home. I was really excited for it because I love the feeling of building something from scratch. Now that the desk is assembled, I position the desk to face the door following a feng shui article, which allows me to be in commanding position while working. I also make sure to place my desk near a window to take advantage of natural light and improve the energy flow in the room. I experienced a lot of neck and shoulder pain from sitting for long hours. So I purchased this monitor and laptop stands to keep my posture right. I really like this expandable laptop stand I found in Amazon, which creates additional storage space. I place my laptop on the right. I already feel so much better because it raises my monitor to a more comfortable height. I also use a desk pad to prevent scratches from my mouse and keyboard. I like to choose the same color as my desk, so it looks neat and tidy. I use an LED lamp that can adjust the color and brightness of the light, allowing me to work comfortably throughout the day. For cable management, it is a crucial yet often overlooked aspect of a good workspace. I attach a self-adhesive holder to an extension cord and stick it underneath my desk to reduce clutter. I also use cable ties to keep my cord out of sight. Additionally, I use 3M cable organizers at the back of my desk. I place one on the right for my laptop and one on the left for my phone charger so that my charging cables are within easy reach. Following these tricks keep my workstation a lot neater. 
to keep all my cables and wires organized, I store them in a cable storage bag. This makes it easy to find what I need when I need it. The monitor stands has great additional storage space, which I use to store my iPads and notebooks for easy access. Another thing I love about this stand is the little drawer, which is perfect for my calculator and memo pads. I also use the open storage area to store my MacBook sleeves, notepads, and a cable storage bag. In the drawer, I keep all my necessary items, such as my work phone, hard drive, skincare products, and some stationery. This candle holder is my birthday gift. I repurpose it as a pen holder to add some color to my plain desk. I also have a mini succulent planter to add some life and a candle for decoration. I keep a motivational quote nearby to remind me to be brave and follow my intuition. I love having my Muji aromatic diffuser on the desk. I make sure to only keep necessary items on my desk to avoid distractions. Next to my work desk, I have a multi-purpose stand. I keep my work-related books next to the desk. The rest is on the other side. I store other less frequently used items inside the shelf. As a plants person, I love adding some greenery to my work area. I also add cushions here to create additional seating next to the balcony. I love orchids so much, they add elegance to this area. This is my home office. I hope sharing my work area has given you some ideas and inspiration for creating a workspace that aligns with your intentional living values. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me if you would like to join me on my intentional living journey. I'll see you soon.